tennis balls go inside the sock, like so, and get them all the way to the bottom. You can use lacrosse balls, which will be more intense, or bouncy balls, which will be less intense, um, but anything that's about this size. Then you can either tie a knot at the end of the sock to keep the balls in place, like that, um, or I actually don't tend to do that because I like to sometimes take one out and do different things with it. But for now, you have two balls inside of a sock. Okay, so now you're going to take that to um, your back, right around bra line level or below your shoulder blades. And then you're going to lie down with the balls uh, in that place. You can bend your knees and have your feet flat on the floor. And you might need to adjust the way that the balls are inside the sock. You want the balls to go on the two strings of muscles along the sides of your spine, not directly on the spine. So adjust as you need to. You're going to settle into this spot and just breathe into your back. You can move the tennis balls up your back once you feel like each spot has released. So take your time. You don't necessarily go have to go as fast as I'm going here, but you can take your time and move the balls up your back as you go. You can experiment with different ways to have your arms. You can take your arms out to your sides. You can take your hands behind your head. You can have your arms by your sides. You can even, once the balls get up in between the shoulder blades, you can play around with your arms and kind of move them across your chest or um, just kind of moving them in space to see how your scapula react to where the balls are on your back. You can play with taking big circles through the arms, so going up, overhead, and around a couple times like that. Keep your breathing even throughout. So especially take awareness to your breath so that you're not holding your breath as you're doing this. You can take the balls up a little bit higher even and then maybe cross your arms like you're giving yourself a big hug and roll side to side so you're getting into the inner part of the scapula. As you move the balls higher up your back, you might find that you need to get your hips a little bit higher to get more direct pressure down into the ball. So in that case, if you have a yoga block at home or even a rolled up towel or blanket, you can put that underneath your pelvis. You can take these all the way up to the base of your skull. So I like to do that and actually keep my hands on either sides of the tennis balls just to keep them where they are on the floor. And then roll my head side to side. So it's getting into um, that tender spot right behind your ear. If uh, you want to stay there for a moment, you can go back and forth. And then come back to the center when you're ready. After you're done, just put the balls to the side and take a few moments for some deep breaths on your back. To feel your back completely settle. Nice and easy, roll to one side and then come up to sit. You are done. If you want another dose of fitness inspiration sent directly to your inbox, join my free membership, The Centering Circle, at elisesparks.com.